Hey everyone, it's Todd, and welcome to day three of story time with Todd, or I should call it something else because I'm just doing stuff to keep us all busy because we're kind of bored. So I hope everybody's doing all right and staying in and washing your hands. And today I'm going to share a couple of my macaroni and cheese recipes uh, with you. And if I've been to your school or your library, you know my favorite food is macaroni and cheese with worms. Uh, no, that's not right. But macaroni and cheese is something that I do love and I make all different kinds. Um, and I have one really simple one. I'm going to share that one with you today. Um, the other thing that you may not know about me besides writing my books, one of my most favorite things to do is cook. So I have my friends over all year long. I make all different kinds of food, but in the summer, um, I have taco tods and I brought in the sign from my backyard uh, that's out there and I make tacos for everyone. I even make my special Todd Keto. But today I'm going to make macaroni and cheese two ways, really simple. So I use the Instapot and it's a pound of macaroni, uh, four cups of vegetable stock, and it gives it a really nice flavor. A little bit of salt and pepper, a tablespoon of butter. Put the lid on and then I do manual for four. And then you have to go down all the way to four. So I put that on for four and let it cook. Now I've already done this just to make it easier, but you can put it at five. And so once it's done, make sure you let the vent off, but be careful. And because you're using vegetable stock, it can be orange um, and it can go all over your kitchen. So um, you wanna be careful with that. I just do it outside. Make sure there's no more steam left in it, all right? And then take the lid off and you, you can, if you do five, it makes the macaroni a little bit uh, more done. This is more al dente, I like that. So just give it a stir, because it kind of sticks together. And then I'm gonna add one can of condensed milk. Now this is not sweetened, but I'm gonna add that in. Garbage bowl, shout out to Rachel Ray. And from that, I'm gonna add like a half a pound of American cheese. Now, you can use any kind of American cheese that you want. And then uh, a cup and a half. Um, did I say pound and a half? This should be a half a cup to three quarters cup. And then uh, cheddar cheese. I use this unexpected cheddar, it's really sharp. And then mix all that up. See how easy this is? And then once you get this done, all stirred up, you can do Do you love my hat? I forgot I had this and I don't know who, somebody gave it to me for my birthday one year. Um, so anyway, I decided to wear it today. I don't think I've ever worn it in public before. But, um, so this, look how good this is looking, coming together. It gives just a few minutes for the American cheese to do. Um, I add a little bit more salt and pepper to it. And I'm using sea salt. All right, so that's come together really nicely. Um, would you like to try some? So I've set a place for you here. Should the chef always taste it before? You can trust me on this. I can't tell you how many times I've made this, but anyway. All right, so there you go. There's your macaroni and cheese. And now um, I'm going to show you another one. It's using this exact same thing. Uh, same a pound of pasta, the four cups of vegetable stock in the uh, Instapot with uh, tablespoon of butter, little salt and pepper, cook it for four on manual. And then the only difference is, is I use coconut milk. So you can use full fat coconut milk or reduced fat coconut milk. And then I use a vegan based, plant based cheese. So I use two cups of that and put that in, do the same thing, stir it up. It's vegan, it tastes really good. Uh, if you want to add some nutritional yeast into it, it will give it more of a sharp cheddar kick to it. Um, but anyway, that's my simple vegan macaroni and cheese and my regular one. And if you know my book, It's Okay to Be Different. Um, this book came out a long time ago. It's still one of my best selling books. And when I was writing this, I thought, Todd, this book is getting too serious. 
put something in that no one would expect. Well, I put this page in. It's okay to eat macaroni and cheese in the bathtub. Well, it caught on and moms and dads have been upset with me ever since. So that's where the macaroni and cheese in the bathtub came in, if you've known that. Um, I wanna thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope you can smell this. It smells really good. And I'll be back tomorrow. Um, can I have some of yours since you're not here? Um, I'll be back tomorrow and I'm gonna be reading, let's see. Mmm, that's really good. <laughs> And take two. Apparently my cameraman thought I didn't look so sincere when I was eating my own macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to do it again because it really is good. Mmm. It's hot. <laughs> take three. I'll try it again. This really is good. Mmm. It's not too hot. It's really good. Try this. This one or the vegan one. So tune in tomorrow. I'm going to be reading two books to you tomorrow. And there, I think I'm going to do tomorrow the I'm Not Scared book because things are kind of scary right now. And also the Feelings book uh, because we have a lot of different feelings. So I'm going to do those. And then I'm also going to do something with the Feelings flashcards. So tune in tomorrow. Be well. The end. Love, Todd.